Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy. If you don't know what I'm doing today, be sure to see the end of the video. But anyway, I'm going to Shanghai today. I've got a 12, I think it's like 12 hours for me to get there. So I leave here at, I can't, I can't even remember. I think it's like 10.30 or something. It's just 2 p.m. now. So I have like 8.5 hours of my flight. Georgie will be here in like 4.5 hours to come pick me up, take me to the airport. But um, but there's one thing I've forgotten. I still need to pack. Bags are empty. I need to get them filled with clothes, camera gear, spare parts, Stuart. 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 He doesn't want me to leave. But yeah, gonna come back gonna pack my bags soon. I've got a video uploading. So I've got a video uploading, it's this one. Shared video. I I'm gonna quit talking. I gotta pack my damn bags. Alright, see ya. Um, dropping a uh, dill off at the port, just <laughs> vlogging, repping the family name, filming, scootering, pretty much. How awkward when people watch her. Tell a story. Seven. Keep walking. <laughs> Why is it always me? <sighs> Yay, finally we're off again. My throat's like so sore. I'm like just gun sick. Oh, I've been flying, it's ridiculous. My throat's sore, my head's sore. Oh, I'm so exhausted. My flight was supposed to be like 12 hours and 40 minutes or something. And now it's been. What time is it? Um, it's 7.47, so being at airports so over 24 hours now, it's ridiculous. I was supposed to be 12 hours done. I was supposed to land in Shanghai at 11 this morning and then go ride for the day with Adrian and Felix but all my flights got delayed. I'll tell you guys later what actually happened it's bizarre, it's hectic. Oh I'm so bummed about like getting to Shanghai really late it's added an extra it's doubled my time and even more. It's like twenty seven hours now instead of twelve it's ridiculous. Everyone's starting to look at me now but I don't care. I'll do what I want. Log log or die. Log or die. Talk to you later. It's 
3 a.m. and I have to get up at, I think, 8 o'clock to get ready to go to the factory tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. You saw me a few seconds ago. Um, I'm just editing the video now and realized that I forgot to tell you guys what actually happened with all the drama and stuff. So, there was thunderstorms and stuff. And then we were like kind of circling around the air for a bit just to wait to get the clearance of land, but we didn't get that and we were really low on fuel. So what we had to do was land in an airport nearby, which is about a 30 minute flight from the one that I was supposed to land in and then fill up and then wait to get clearance and then fly up and then land where we were supposed to. But because we bring the thunderstorms that were with us at the other airport to the new one, we weren't allowed to fill up because obviously thunder strikes and something with the fuel it could blow up or some shit. So we had to wait to fill up. We had to wait, I think it was like three hours. And my my layover was only like two and a half hours. So I missed my connecting flight from Jiuensu to yeah, Jiuensu to Shanghai Pudong. So and like a lot of other people missed that flight and other connecting flights. So after that whole drama, a few hours waiting, finally got to Bedong and then there was like a line to, well, there was like a queue to get your ticket like replaced or rebooked or transferred or whatever. It took, I was about halfway, three quarters at the back of the line. It took me two and a half hours, I think it was, just to get a new ticket. And the only, I just missed a flight waiting two and a half hours. So after that, I had to wait seven hours for a new flight, which was, oh, it was hell. I hated it so much. After the whole drama, seven hours getting, I just got fucked around heaps. Like a lot of things weren't working. I, I had a problem in Melbourne with my baggage. I, apparently I could only check in two different bags, which I thought I was. I thought my scooter didn't, count but she told me it does even though I called up earlier that day asking that very question if my scooter would count as a bag and they said no so that's what I got and then I got told differently at the gate and then she let me bring two bags on carry on and she didn't care how much they weighed which was very odd I usually, I usually try and get all my cameras on my carry on because the weight limit kind of restricts me for all my gear so after that whole confusion, I ended up taking two bags, not knowing what was really in the other one. And I had a lot of tools in there, deodorant, pretty much most of the stuff that you can't bring off on a flight, but you can check in was in there, which was a pain in the ass because... So I had to give all of the tools and all the stuff I wasn't allowed to bring to my girlfriend and my sister who dropped me off. And it was, oh, it was such a bad time. And then I ended up nearly missing my flight. I, had to, I was running through the airport, I was rushing to make the first one, yet to... So, so I got fucked around my baggage. We couldn't land the plane because there was thunderstorms. Went to a completely different airport that we weren't supposed to go to. Missed my connecting flight. Had to wait two and a half hours for a new ticket. I haven't got enough hands for what went wrong. I had to wait seven hours for my new flight. So yeah, it was really the worst flight ever. I had a really bad experience of a flight going to Amsterdam in 2014, but that takes the cake. It was so bad. The whole trip and the exhaustion and the fuck around made me so sick. I had a headache the whole damn time. At one stage, I woke up with a migraine on the plane, like barely able to of my eyes or walk or comprehend even flying it was just so bad I, I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm sounding like a little bit croaky now but my throat was so bad it was stinging I was coughing my nose was literally running everywhere like up and down the plane it was running all, all over the place now my nose was just so bad and I was just ready to die it was awful but Hey, I'm here in Shanghai now. 
while I'm talking to you guys now and editing, I just had the second day. The first day we went to the factory. Go peep that video out. And then we, and then we rode straight in Shanghai with Felix and Adrian filming for the Shanghai video, which was also amazing. I'm so stoked with the clips I've gotten. So, that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.